What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Nakaya Parquet, for Facebook Live News Break. I come to you with a good a good one tonight. Thank you for joining me. The show that you're watching is Facebook Live News Break, streaming live on Facebook, and also going to be streaming later on YouTube. Um, I stream live on Facebook Live, but I'm also going to be streaming on YouTube. I'm your host, Nikhil Parquet, for this time of refreshing and everything. Thank you for joining me today. Let's get right into it. Um, I know many people have had a rough day. I know I sort of had a rough day. Um, a lot of things went down that should not have went down. But in spite of it all, I want to let you guys know that I'm still alive. I'm still here in the land of the living. And I want to let you guys know that no, no matter what storm that you gone that you have gone through, God is still able to make all grace abound towards you. And you made it through this day, and you made it through another time for me to minister to you this week. So thank you for joining me. Let's get right into it. I got a good one today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for washing us from all our sin, cleanse me from all unrighteousness through the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that some people may have went through a lot of hell today. Some people may have went through a lot of pain and suffering today, but I thank you, Lord, that we made it and we're on the air ministering to people. Thank you, Lord, for people getting inspired, people getting refreshed today, people getting purged by the words that's coming out of our mouths today. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We ask all these things that this news help somebody stay informed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. You are watching, like I said, Facebook Live News Break. Stream live on Facebook and on YouTube for later. All right? Let's get into our top story. A prayer for the generations. A prayer for the generations. This is one of our stories for tonight. And let me get it up for you. And this is for our 
audience, this is according to our sources at the Christian Post, a prayer for the generations. This woman, she says she's a mom of three, 16 years old, and a 14 year, she has a 14 year old daughter. One second. Okay, sorry, somebody was calling. She's a mom of three. She's a mom of three daughters, I'm sorry. This woman is a mom of three daughters. She has a 16 year old, a 14 year old and a 10 year old. Her girls are growing up in a vastly different world than the one she grew up in. It's not enough for them to know basic Bible stories. They need to know how to read God's word for themselves and apply it to their lives. They need to feel the freedom to ask hard questions and learn how to find the answers in the scripture. She says, helping our children develops a daily habit in being in God's word and applying it to their lives is a great place to start. Helping our children cultivate a lifelong habit of being in God's word is important as it cultivates a desire to know God more and to love him greatly with their lives. The way we help equip our children to look to their futures with hope instead of fear is by teaching them how to read and apply God's word to their lives. All right, if you want to read more of that article, you can go to kristenpost.com. All right. Amazon reimburse their, their U.S. employees. This is according to our source of NBC News. Amazon, the second largest U.S. private employer told his staff on Monday it will pay up to $4,000 in travel expense annually for non-threatening medical treatments, including abortions, according to a message seen by Reuters. The decision makes the online retailer the latest company after Citigroup incorporated Yelp and others to respond to Republican-backed state laws curbing abortion access, helping employees bypass them. It shows how companies are eager to retain and attract talent in locations that remain important to their operations, despite legal challenges impacting em employees' health. The U.S. Supreme Court is due to rule by the end of January in a case that gives its conservative majority a chance to roll back abortion rights or even overturn the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized the procedure nationwide. About two dozen states, including Oklahoma and Alabama, have laws poised to limit abortion access should the Roe ruling be overturned. Amazon new benefits effective to January 1st retroactively, retroactively applies if an operation is not available within 100 miles of an employee's home and virtual care is not possible, the company message said. It is open to U.S. employees or covered dependents enrolled in Premier or Edna health plans, whether they work in a corporate office or a warehouse. Okay. All right, a retired bishop leaves UMC for a new conservative church for a new conservative church, I'm sorry. Let me correct this graphic for you guys. A retired bishop leaves a UM, leaves UMC for a new conservative church, okay? And this is according to our source at the Christian Post. A recent retired bishop of the United Methodist, United Methodist Church has announced that he is leaving the mainland Protestant denomination for a conservative alternative launch on Sunday. The Reverend, Jane, the Reverend Michael J. Lowry, who recently retired as bishop of the UMC Fort Worth Episcopal area, announced the cutting of his ties to the UMC to join the Global Methodist Church. Lowry was previously involved in the GMC Transitional Leadership Council, which has been reported concerning uh, among other UMC leaders due to him also being credentialized 
with the UMC. In a letter to the UMC Council of Bishops, President Cynthia Farrell Harvey and Bishop Bob Farr of the, of the South Central Jurisdiction College of Bishops dated April 28, that was posted online on Sunday, Lowry said his transition comes with a heavy heart and deep grief. He's thankful for the great nurturing and guidance he received in the United Methodist Church over the course of his life. He's richly been blessed by friendship and support of numerous cloud of witnesses across the face of the church universal, including members of the Council of Bishops. She said, he said, nonetheless, and I quote, Jesus Lord is the first and the foremost in allegiance to my Lord and Savior that I take this action. So we wish him well in his affairs, okay? Got to keep it moving, keep it moving. Um, this Supreme Court decision. It's a Supreme Court draft suggests Roe could be overturned. So the Roe versus Wade could be overturned. could be overturned sorry guys i had to correct these graphic sorry this is to our source of the associated press supreme court draft suggests roe could be overturned a draft opinion suggests the u.s supreme court could be poised to overturn the landmark 1973 roe versus wade case that legalized abortion nationwide according to political report a decision overruled Roe would lead to abortion bans in roughly half the states and could have huge ramifications for this year's election. But it's unclear if the draft represents the court's final word on the matter. Opinions often change in ways big and small in the drafting process. President Joe Biden said Tuesday that the basic fairness and the stability of our law demands that the court not be overturned. Roe, while emphasizing that he couldn't speak to the authenticity of the of the draft, Biden said his administration is preparing for all eventualities for when the court ultimate rules, and that a decision overturning Roe would raise stakes for voters in November's heated midterm election. If the court does turn Roe, it will fall on our nation's elected officials at all levels of government to protect the woman's right to choose, and it will fall on voters to elect pro-choice officials this November. At the federal level, we will need more pro-choice senators and a pro-choice majority in the House to adopt legislation that provides Roe, which I will work to pass and sign into law. This is what the president say. But I want to let you guys know that I pray that Roe versus Wade will be eliminated. I pray in the name of Jesus because I want to let you guys know anybody that thinks, and I know I stand corrected, I don't care. I know what people want to say that, okay, a woman gets raped, I understand. A woman gets raped and everybody not prepared to have a baby. But the Bible says it is he that gives life. God is the giver of life, not us. God is the taker of life, not us. The Bible says, thou shall not kill. And if you think that abortion is not killing people, then you need to be saved because abortion is killing. If it's not right for an adult to throw a child over a banister, then it's not right for a child to be aborted at all. If it's not right for people to throw babies in garbage cans, it's not right for a baby to get injected with some substance to, to get killed in an abortion. If it's not right to throw a baby up a, upside a brick wall or upside a hallway wall or put a baby in a closet, then it's not right for somebody to kill a baby in an abortion. If you don't want the child that bad, then you need to give it to an adoption agency. But don't kill something that God made. 
That's my opinion. If anybody has an opinion about it, that's between them and God. But this is my show and I have an opinion to say abortion kills. Don't do it. Okay. Let me see. In other news, Chicago news, two critically wounded in Chicago gas station shooting. Two men were shot and critically wounded Tuesday night at Humboldt Park gas station on Chicago's northwest side. This is courtesy of WFLD Fox 32 Chicago. The pair was standing in the parking lot of a gas station around 9, 16 p.m. in the 3600 block of West Grand Avenue when a gunman walked up and started shooting. 20, a 25-year-old man was shot in the abdomen and leg. The other 24-year-old suffered a gunshot wound to the groin and leg. They were both taken by paramedics to the Stroger Hospital where they were listed in critical condition. No one is in custody and area area four detectives are investigating. Let's pray for those two individuals and pray that they get the help that they need during this time. Okay, I have another story to tell you guys. Um, You'd be surprised what I'm going to tell you because this is for children and for you teenagers that love the gym to keep teenagers out of crime, to keep teenagers um to keep teenagers out of crime, to keep teenagers from doing crazy stuff over the summer break, because I know a lot of kids are getting out, including college kids are getting out um, for the summer. Planet Fitness is offering something for teenagers 14 to 19 for them to work out all summer long. And I'm going to give you that story right now, okay? Once I get this graphic done, okay? Here we go. This is according to our sources at WGN. Planet Fitness is inviting high teenagers can work out for free all summer at Planet Fitness. So for you teens that trying to get into something bad and crime and all that stuff, don't say you don't have an outlet and you don't don't say that you don't got no place to go this summer, but do bad. You got no excuse. Teens can work out for free at all Planet Fitness locations and more than 2,200 clubs nationwide, including some here in Chicago. Planet Fitness is inviting high school students between the ages of 14 and 19 to work out for free from May 16th to August 31st at any one of their more 2,200 clubs nationwide. The company says the program is part of the high school summer pass initiative aiming to improve teens' mental and physical health. The program was formerly known as the Teen Summer Challenge, which launched in 2019 and saw more than 900,000 teens sign up and more than 5.5 million workouts over a three and a half month period, according to the company. High schools can visit the website to pre-register and get a reminder to formally sign up when the program kicks off Monday, May 16th. Teens under 18 must register with a parent or guardian online or in the club. According to the AMA, American Medical Association, less than 15% of teens meet their 60-minute daily physical activity recommendation during the pandemic. When it comes to teens in Chicago, 67.5% of teens do not meet the recommended activity guidelines and 15.5% of teens are overweight. The company will award one $500 scholarship in each state in the District of Columbia and one $5,000 scholarship grand prize at the end of the summer. The scholarship can be used for academic or athletic activities or programs. COVID-19 protocols are in place. Touchless check-in via the free 
Planet Fitness app available to all high school summer pass participants, a crowd meter on the Planet Fitness app that allows members to check club capacity in real time before even leaving the house, increased sanitations to continually clean and sanitize high touch areas with cleaning stations available for member use and mass policies in accordance with local guidelines. So yep, teenagers, register online at planetfitness.com and you can go to any of the 2200 Planet Fitness locations nearest you, not just in Chicago, but you can go to any Planet Fitness in your area and, and ask for the high school summer pass initiative. Apply online and get exercising today, teenagers. Now you have no excuse not to have nothing to do because Planet Fitness is offering you a free membership for the next three and a half months. All right. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break and we will be right back on the other side after you hear these announcements. You're watching Facebook Live News Break. And I want to share my heart with you right after this. Oh, uh, before we go to a break, I want to share this with you. Search Facebook Live News Break on Facebook Watch. You can watch any and all of my episodes. Search Facebook Live News Break on Facebook Watch. Also, I want to tell you, let's continue to help the Ukraine. Ukraine needs your help due to the war that's happening over in Ukraine and everything. Just go to unicefusa.org and give your donation to help make a difference overseas. Okay? And also support the Red Cross. Text 90999 and call 1-800-RED-CROSS. That's 1-800-733-2767. Only you can make a difference. All right? And then last but not least, this weekend, Feed Your Spirit with my brother, William Bruschelli Teague, Saturdays at 1035 on Facebook Live. If they doesn't have a, if they don't have a broadcast, I'll try to share one of theirs or do something for you guys during that time so you can still get ministered to. But pray for William and Bruschelli Teague because they lost a relative, so they haven't been on for a couple of weeks, but normally they come on at 1035 Central on Facebook Live. I'll try to see if they'll have a broadcast this week. If not, I'll try to share it or I'll reshare my worship on the weekends, which you can always watch. Watch Worship on the Weekends on Facebook Watch. Search that as well and search my YouTube channel, which is Worship, on, which is YouTube channel, Nakaya Parquet. That's YouTube channel, Nakaya Parquet. And also this program is brought to you in part, promotional consideration for this program is brought to you in part by the Lord Jesus Christ, but is also brought to you in part by StreamYard. StreamYard software does the graphics for this program. You can use StreamYard for your, um, for your movies, for your streams, for conferences and anything of that nature. Go to StreamYard.com. That's StreamYard.com for more details so we're going to take a short break we'll be right back you're watching facebook live news break right here on facebook live and stream later on on youtube i'll be right back after this All right, we're back, everybody. We are back. Thank you for joining me for Facebook Live news break streamed all over the world on Facebook Live and on YouTube later on. 
stream all over the world. Okay, I am your host, Nakaya Parquet. I also want to tell you about an event that's happening soon um, with Faber Friday. Many of you guys saw the picture that I did for Faber Friday, ABC. Faber Friday is having another event. Carsey Barnes and his choir are going to have another event coming soon. And it's called the Men Takeover. It's called the Men Takeover. They're having another event, everybody. It's called the Men Takeover. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen on the 27th. The Men Takeover, the service, is on May 27th. And more information will be coming soon about this event. Stay tuned to Facebook Live Newsbreak as I will tell you more about this um, event that's coming up, the Faber Friday ABC Choir. Men are singing and taking over the service on May 27th. Don't miss it. All right. I'm almost out of time, but I want to let you guys us know before I leave you guys today that don't let nobody shake you. Don't let nobody hurt you today. Um, I'm going to let you guys know that I went through a lot of stuff today. I went through people. I went through work. You know, I, you know, I work downtown and I try to do what I can. But I went through people that I work with, somebody that's over me, I went through people cussing me out and disrespecting me, sticking up their middle finger. I went through, even the last couple of days, a young man that you all saw tried to put racial slurs on my Facebook and hate crimes on my Facebook. I went through a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm happy in Jesus alone. I want to let you guys know that don't let nobody stop your vision. Don't let nobody hurt you. Don't let nobody try to shake you because the devil seeks whom he may devour. So I want to say, beloved, as I close in three minutes, that the devil wants to try to kill you. The devil wants you bound. The devil wants you sad and angry and not ever wanting to do what God called you to do. But I'm here tonight to let you know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Don't give up on Jesus. Don't let God down. Just trust in Jesus and just know that God will deal with your enemies. God will do anything but fail. You got to trust God no matter what the devil is saying. You got to trust God. You got to lift up your head, O ye gates, and be you lifted up. The everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in because who is the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle he is the king of glory he is the king of kings and the lord of lords there is none like him in my brief time i just want to ask you guys if you need prayer if you need to ask jesus into your heart like i did a long time ago you can ask Jesus. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes and ask Jesus into our heart. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I'm trusting you and only you to direct my life. Make me mold me, forgive me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness, and purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be made whiter than snow. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew in me a right spirit. Cast me not away, O oh Lord. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I repent of all my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. We got to forgive people 70 times 7. I got to forgive people no matter how heinous they want to try to be. The Bible says, let, let, let God fight your battles. He says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So don't try to go after the people that want to try to mess over you and everything because God got them. God will strike them. 
God will fight them. See, God, the thing about God is he make your enemies your footstool. People that stick up their middle finger to me and people that curse me out, God going to cut them off. God going to kill them. God going to do whatever God wants to do because if the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. People need to stop messing with me. People need to stop messing with you, beloved. Don't let nobody just talk to you in their type of way. Let God deal with them because when God deals with somebody, they already dealt with, all right? That's all I got time for tonight. If you want to know more about Jesus, you can hit me up. This is my address, Nakaya Parquet at yahoo.com. That's Nakaya Parquet at yahoo.com. I'm Nakaya Parquet. I want to thank you guys for watching me for Facebook Live. News break. That's all I got. I did it in 30 minutes. That's all I got, y'all. Watch me later on on YouTube. This broadcast should be on there and watch all my broadcasts. Until next time, this is Nakai Parquet signing off. I want to let you know that I'm on your side because I'm rooting for you. You got to keep walking by faith. You can't let the devil talk you out of anything. You can't let the devil get you off your square. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. I love you. And Jesus is Lord. Next time, everybody. I love you. Good night. God bless your Facebook. Facebook. Good night.